I just wanna see you smile. Just wanna see you smile, yeah. You know you deserve the smile. So none of them see you smile, yeah. Hey Play Cousin, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscription box down below so that you can become a part of our Hana. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get rid of my baby's cradle cap. As you can see, her hair is extremely long for, you know, a baby. She's only two months old. Um, well, I think when I filmed this video, she was still only a month old. She's pretty chunky, I know. But um, all these little flakes you can see on her scalp, that's pretty much her cradle cap. It looks like dandruff or like, you know, dry scalp. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go in with a comb and gently rake um, her scalp. And as you can see, it doesn't really bother her. It doesn't hurt or anything like that. And um, I'm just pretty much lifting that dryness off her scalp. And, um, and then you can see it look like it's snowing. That's like, you know from her cradle cap but it's hard to tell it's hard to it's hard to find her cradle cap because her hair is so long but it's definitely on her you know on her scalp so it looks all flaky and it like to some people it would look like dandruff and stuff like once once you're raking the scalp because she still has a soft spot um i do it very gently i do it very gently on a circular motion as i like take um as i'm like raking it off of her scalp and as you can see it's like not bothering her at all it doesn't hurt you might have to like detangle your child's hair before doing this but yeah it's like flakes and stuff and it'll look like it's snowing in her scalp but the reason why you're raking this off is because uh if you don't rake it and you just wash their hair it's gonna look like they still have dandruff like it's not gonna do anything it's gonna stay on their on their scalp so you have to like kind of rake it off their scalp so that when you wash it it all goes away yeah So as you can see, like, it's getting everything up off of her scalp. Like when I'm raking it up, I'll show you. You can see it on her scalp a little bit, and you just kind of rake it. And I promise I'm not hurting her, or else she would be, like, hollering. It's, it doesn't bother her at all. It looks really like like snowfall but I'm gonna wash her hair and get all of this off and then I'll show you guys what I use to wash her hair and she loves getting her hair washed she has like more hair than the rest of my kids and um, and her hair is also the thickest Especially at this age, they didn't have this much hair. Like, they had a head full of hair, but it was not this thick, and it definitely wasn't this long. Yeah, and the only other one who had cradle cap was Selenia. Like, Lonnie didn't have cradle cap. Just her and Selenia. But now I've learned, well, I learned with Selenia how to take care of it. And so that's why... She still has, like, a lot of hair. And, like, her hair hasn't, like, started getting, like, you know, bald back here. Because that's where Selenia went bald. And Lonnie was bald in the back, too. But that was because she was pulling her own hair out. Take 
that big girl. Look at them rolls. You got rolls for days. This is your cradle cap. It's all being raked up. It looks like snow. So, her hair is not dry all the way, of course. That's how her hair looks freshly washed. It's like, you know, her curls get all tight and stuff. Her hair don't look as thick, but it's still wet and it's drying. And I just, um, I washed her hair with Baby Don't Be Bald, the medicated one with, um, that's like for anti-itch or anti-dandruff and things like that. But then instead of using that same conditioner, I just used some Aussie Moist. And when I rinsed it, I don't, oh girl, don't do that. When I rinsed it out, I, um... I didn't rinse it out all the way, and so now I'm actually going to take like a receiving blanket that I don't use for her, and then I'm just going to like try to like, you know, dry her hair a little bit without it being too damaging. She loves getting her hair washed. I just didn't show you because I didn't want to have to set the camera up in there. Going to comb this out. Like I said, she does still have a little bit of Aussie Moist in her hair. Her hair is most similar to mine, which is why I, um, I do for her the same exact thing that I would do for myself when it comes to my hair. I use this in her hair. And I mix it with some Jamaican black castor oil, which is why it looks like normally with just the baby don't be bald, it looks blue. But when you mix it, it's green like this. When you mix it with the Jamaican black castor oil, I use it with the one that smells like mango and papaya. That's one that I use. And then I dab like a little bit on my hands like that. And I kind of just like rub it all throughout her hair and massage it. I'll massage it onto her scalp. Oop, like that much. And I just like massage it onto her scalp. So now when I'm finally done with raking her scalp and oiling her scalp with the baby don't be bald, I just put her bonnet on her head. Well, really it's Selena's old bonnet, but it fits her better. And um, I just, you know, go ahead and rock her to sleep. And that's pretty much the end of this, you know. And she looks so stinking cute, but that's how I've been taking care of her hair and her scalp and getting her hair to grow and getting rid of her cradle cap. And she no longer has cradle cap at all anymore. And it's been like a month since I've recorded this video. I hope this video has helped you guys. Um, be sure to leave some tips down in the comment section below. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at DDBetVA. And until next time, bye guys. If you haven't subscribed by now, that is completely...